Yo, what's up chats? Today we got the full list of the PS5 games list league. I'm not even sure how to phrase this one, but we got a massive list, right? Call of Duty 2020, Activision and the striking people. That kind of confirms that it's actually genuine. Black Ops Remaster, that, that is in the news apparently, so I want to absolutely take time to talk about it. Far Cry 6, and there is a ton to go over. But let's just get right into it. If you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news. So if a chat like you is into that, then uh, subscribe. And our first story is about the PS5 reveal, and of course, it's happening finally happening on June 11th smash like for no delays uh, hopefully it's gonna be broadcasted at 1080p 30 FPS honestly man I'm like hey can't you guys do 60 FPS but seriously jokes aside I don't care at this point all my homies have been through a lot 1080p 30 FPS bring it on I, I don't even care even though I would love 60 FPS they got the 8k tech and wow we're getting 1080p and they recommend us to watch it with headphones on and this kind of brings me back to the time where Mark Cerny came out and he was asking people about their ear hole pictures and apparently that didn't work out well a ton of people were sending them ear hole pictures and the fact that now they're asking people to bring the headphones in i mean what what could go wrong right and in terms of the list this is a massive list right and i'm pretty sure this is like 90 percent accurate of course there will be you gotta take this as leaks because this is a leak list but the first game that we have is horizon zero dawn 2 of course we're gonna see that happen even the official uk magazine kind of leaked it uh it is kind of confirmed technically it's not but it's kind of confirmed you know what i mean ratchet and clank there has been rumors about it and this leak list said that we're absolutely gonna see it i mean it's a ps5 reveal event so ratchet and clank makes sense the next one on the list is the Crash Bandicoot. Now, Crash Bandicoot is something that has been leaked by the Gaming Revolution source. I've spoken with the Gaming Revolution source as well, and the source says that this is something we knew for a long, long time, that Activision is looking to make a new Crash Bandicoot game. It's not gonna be a remaster. This has been in development for almost three years, so it's gonna be a new game. I'm excited for it. We also got Resident Evil 8, and a ton of sources are saying that, yes, we're gonna get the Resident Evil 8. I have never played any Resident Evil game. I have seen some gameplay, and it does look really good probably gonna get it uh, you know if we get it i'm probably gonna get it probably gonna stream it on the channel silent hill has been teased a lot so i think we're finally gonna get it this hasn't been confirmed yet but of course it has been officially teased quote unquote the next one on the list is socom now socom is something that i, I remember playing it on the ps3 days arguably it, it was good it wasn't something that would give me kicks of dopamine it was pretty decent so are we gonna see a reboot of it i'm not sure the last of us online of course memes aside <laughs> uh, i don't know if there's gonna be though but i know that a lot of people who have played the first last of us they have played its online mode they kind of loved it i still haven't played the first last of us i'm thinking about playing it and speaking of it's meme last of us 2 of course no leaks no spoilers but i genuinely believe that this game is gonna sell well despite what everyone is saying of course this game has garnered bad pr but bad pr actually sells i mean look around you right you guys remember the bell dolphin bathwater a lot of people were memeing a lot of people were dropping deuces and she was like nah man i'm gonna sell my bathwater she sold it she made banks and there were scientists and astronauts running dna tests on the water and they figured out that it was just tap water right and she still made banks she still made banks so just understand we're living in 2020 right 2020 is all about bad pr it's all about leaks it's just that God, if I tell that to my parents, they will they will slap me. They will be like, yeah, right. You can sell bath buy bath water and make money. So if she can make money off of bath water, uh, Last of Us Two, we're talking about a video game, guys. Of course, garnered a lot of bad PR, but I really think it's gonna sell well. I I really think it's gonna sell well. Of course, that's my opinion, not facts. Smash the like button for me to be brave. The next one on the list is Call of Duty Cold W. Now, I really want to take time to talk about it because there has been a lot of leaks, guys. We also got Godfall. Of course, we already have seen the trailer. We're gonna see it, no doubt in my mind. Gran Turismo 7. Of course, Gran Turismo devs are saying, hey, they are looking to actually make this game a run at 120 to 240 FPS. Meanwhile, I'm looking at Ubisoft that cannot even run their games properly at 30 FPS. They're like, yeah, man, minimum, it's gonna be 30 FPS. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see this game run at 1. 20 to 240 fps harry potter rpg and i'm a massive harry potter fan there has been a ton of leaks about this game and this leak list says that it's gonna be revealed at the ps5 reveal i really hope it does but of course treat this as a leak and not like facts or gospel or something like that demon soul remake i never played demon soul so i'm not sure about this game if any of you studs have played it and i know some of you might be looking at me and be like skizzle you gotta play it man you're gonna get a kick of dopamine uh i'm not sure i never played it i i might try it i might look up the gameplay and stuff like that there is gonna be a new ip from house mark 
there is gonna be project awakening not sure about this game whatsoever there is apparently gonna be a new ip from santa monica studio and i'm really excited for that one originally i was like i'm not sure if we're gonna see god of war yeah it's possible that they're gonna reveal god of war because it's a ps5 reveal event and you know what god of war that's a big big ps5 title or gonna be a big ps5 title whenever that drops but now they say that there will be a new ip so not god of war but a new ip really excited to see although i would love to see a new god of war game i think that it's gonna happen between now and like four four years i think in the next four years it's definitely gonna happen they're not really gonna push it hopefully they don't the early the better but a new ip really excited to see what that could be MLB the show and a new IP that's Sony SD. I'm not sure what SD means. Sony Studios, SD, standard definition. I'm not sure. They are looking to make this console 8K. Reports are also saying that Far Cry 6 is gonna be releasing by April 2021 and it's set outside of the US. And this report is actually coming from the expert game reactor.dk and they claim that it's gonna be revealed on July 12th at the Ubisoft event and I personally have not really played Far Cry I know that there is a huge fan base of Far Cry so excited to see how this game will look but of course in this Rony situation things are always subject to delay and even this leak is saying that and the Ubisoft reveal is gonna be like on July 12th I, I believe it but of course you know what can be delayed who knows there might be a new thing that pops up like tomorrow or something like that hopefully not you don't smash the like button to avert a disaster in terms of Call of Duty 2020 last night there was a mass leak of course i made an emergency upload and there has been a ton more that got leaked last night as well along with the logo which of course i can't show you in the video you gotta look up charlie until for that one activision is striking and whenever that happens you know that's legit the leak gameplay that happened the other day is because of this leak and i'm actually gonna like give you all the details of course charlie until says that hey everyone we have deleted our previous tweet that shows the call of duty black ops image from the ps5 internal alpha to avoid a copyright strike you know what like activision is fully going at them and to put everything in one to two sentences this is what happened basically this happens all the time they had northwoods previously for black ops 3 they used northwoods of course that's pretty dark stuff like do not google that hide your wives put your kids to bed they use that to play test black ops 3 and how they do it is that they provide dev kits to play testers and to devs and only they can download these alphas right and this new alpha is called the red one i'm not gonna show you the picture i just can't of course everything is up on charlie until i will link it down below for sure but this one is called the red door and only a handful amount of people track devs and play testers they would have to put a password in i would assume they would be able to download it and they can actually play a test at their home and stuff like that so this is legit and the only reason it got leaked was the fact that they had call of duty 2020 mentioned in the files and data miners went inside they found a call of duty black ops logo it just says call of duty black ops of course i can't show it in the video it's a new logo it feels like an old logo but it's actually a new logo a ton of people have been struck down by activision so the only reason they got struck down was because it is legit but charlie until still says that although the image said black ops per Eurogamer and other sources the game is still rumored to be call of duty black ops cold w now honestly i don't care what they're gonna call this but as a youtuber i hope that they don't call it cold w because like youtube uh, they will actually detect it they will be like you're talking about the real life history youtube will just lower the reach of the video and of course like call of w that's gonna be a long long title as a player i don't care but as a youtuber i hope that it's called just black ops or just call it black ops 5 that's gonna be simple i think i'm just gonna stick with black ops 5 and call of duty 2020 and another thing that i gotta point out this one is coming from my homie dk dynamite he have spoken with like other sources the gaming revolution sources and he's saying that we're not gonna get a beta this time of course take it with a uh, with five kilos of salt it's not confirmed yet part of me is actually happy and also like hey i wanna i wanna get a beta but the reason i'm happy is because like this happens every year they drop betas out it got like six maps and you know what the game comes out with only like eight or nine maps so we only have like one or two new maps and it's just like the beta comes out we have played the whole game and when the full game comes out people are just not firing dopamine you're kind of running low you're getting dopamine crashes you're like yeah man like i played the game it was pretty good now it's time to wait for the new call of duty and in this case it will be call of duty 2021 i really don't want that to happen but multiplayer betas allowed them to actually iron out the game fix the bugs this and that there is that aspect to it but dk dynamite claims that this time we're gonna get a campaign demo i mean i'm excited for it but of course it's not gonna be as big as a multiplayer beta it's just gonna be a campaign beta campaign demo like wow you know i'm firing dopamine one or two missions but of course i'm excited for the game let me know your thoughts below one if you would love 
the multiplayer beta. Two of you would love this campaign demo. I'm gonna go towards the campaign demo, even though I want a multiplayer beta, but of course, if they drop it, the chances are they're gonna give us like the whole game in the beta. And when the whole game comes out, everyone is like, yeah, man, I'm getting a dopamine crush. And the Gaming Revolution actually posted this tweet and says that I have no idea if this is real, but I was DM this. I figured you guys would be better at trying to debunk this. Let, let me know what you guys think. And he was given this and I really don't think it's legit. I I'm, I mean, I'm kind of risking it. <laughs> Activision, if you see this video, please let me know. I'll just take the video down or trim out this section. But this is, I don't think this is legit. I really don't think this is legit. They are saying that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold W59, Activision, if you're watching this video, this this is Photoshop, right? Like, this isn't like, uh, I'm not showing logo or anything like that. Even if this is legit, I'm not showing logo. It just says standard edition, J'ai achète, it's in French, just uh, says buy, whatnot, you know, so do not strike. But this is where it says Black Ops Remaster, and I don't think this is legit. Uh, of course, I'm still gonna cover it in the video because it could be legit. It says that that this sorti 2021, that means release date, it's gonna be coming out in 2021. That's what this leak said, but it says PS4. So that's where I'm like, nah, this is not legit. Of course, a ton of people got us, people are adding me, people just want uh, to know if, you, if I think this is real or fake. I, I would say it feels fake. Let me know if any of you guys are detectives, scientists, let me know your thoughts below. I mean, I'm 100% sure we're gonna get a Black House remaster, Black House remaster. Every Call of Duty will be remastered. It's just the matter of time. Like whenever Activision just wanna make that dough, they will be like, you know what? Let's uh, let's put out Black House one remaster. Uh, here you go, right? Like they're gonna do it. But not so long to wait. If you're new here, like and subscribe. I got you starting off under the loops. Click on any of the video on the screen. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine, and I will see you right there.